Master Support and Resistance Levels. I'm going to teach you something here that is, well, a defensive mechanism. All right, because it's just as important to know when not to trade as when to trade. So what we're going to do is share with you a misunderstanding. It's something that used to work in the past and no longer works now. Tech, uh, trading changes a lot, so let's jump right into it. So the topic is very, very simple. We're going to look at yesterday's high and low. And a lot of people, where is yesterday's low? Let's see if we can get this puppy on here. There it is, way down there. All right, so yesterday's high and low, these are levels that a lot of people look for trading, for support and resistance. So this obviously is for, uh, specifically for day trading. So in the, the days of yore, back when I was knee high to a grasshopper, yeah, this is something that I was taught. So when you got yesterday's high, they said, well, that's a resistance level. And you can often go short off of that. Or if you broke above yesterday's high, and I remember them saying this very well, okay, that now we, we are in the definition of a bullish market for the day. And conversely, yesterday's low is a support level. And if we broke below yesterday's low, then we are in officially a bear market for the day. Uh, that seemed to work okay for a little while, but my friends, today that is going to kill your trading account. So let's just look at some examples and um, actions speak louder than words. So uh, again, we've got, I've got yesterday's high marked in uh, green here. So let's just, this is pretty much a whole day of trading. Market comes up, comes to yesterday's high. Did the market stop there? No, it kept going. Now, if you were to say, well, okay, so I'm going to use this as resistance. That didn't work out at all. And then if you said, well, now I'm going to go bullish. I'm going to buy the breakout. Well, that didn't work out either. And it came right back down to it. And now another technique comes. So we've got several techniques going on that all are failing. Number one, you could say, we're going to look at this for resistance. It did not provide resistance. We could look and say, okay, well, I'm going to trade it as a breakout. Didn't go very far. Third technique, you could say, all right, I'm going to wait for it to break out, retrace, and then res uh, resistance becomes support. You've heard that. And so then I'll buy here. Well, that was no so bueno. Went back up, hit this high and came all the way back down. This time, the yesterday's high didn't even provide support and it went down below yesterday's high. So now you might be thinking, oh, okay, well, I guess uh, the breakout of the high failed and therefore it's going to be a bearish day. And then the market turns around and says, psych, wrong again. Ever feel like that? Like the market is just playing with you, cat and mouse game? Okay, so no so bueno, right? Let's look at the next day. So the next day, um, maybe even worse. So we open here and it comes up to the high, yesterday's high, and it gets a little bit above it, just enough that if you took the breakout, you were messed up. So if you said, okay, well, it broke down below it, so therefore, oh, it's going to be a bearish day. Then the market comes to yesterday's high again. Remember, this is yesterday's high. YH stands for yesterday's high, if you can see that. Uh, and then it broke a, bit, a little bit above it and it broke above this high here too so double psych it's breaking up through slicing through the resistance of yesterday's high and slicing through the resistance of the morning's high and then it comes back down does uh re does resistance become support uh, no it does not it slices right through that by the way it also sliced us through yesterday's close there's yesterday's close there so for those who think that provides great support resistance and then what happens so then the markets and then you say okay well now we're really bearish and mark says no we're not and it goes up and makes another higher high so higher high but look at what's happening just slicing through yesterday's high over and over and over and then it goes through it again and you say, okay, now it, now we're really going to go up, right? And then the market says no. It makes a lower low. <laughs> what happened to all this higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low? That That's supposed to define a trend. That sounds great in a perfect world. Unfortunately, the markets are never a perfect world. The markets are messy. And guess what? They're messy on 
purpose. They are messy on purpose. The old scenario of, oh, a trend is a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, higher low, higher high. It's so neat and tidy. And it sounds great in textbooks, in videos, in hindsight. This is this just doesn't really exist much anymore. This is what happens in the markets these days. All of the old stuff you've been taught, everybody and their dribble knows it. And that's exactly why it doesn't work anymore. Because if you do what everybody does, you're going to get what everyone does. And that is losses. And the, everybody, the professional traders know what you're doing. And so they're going to just psych you out. They're going to say, no, that's not going to work anymore. We're not going to, we're going to game all of this. And then it goes, makes another higher high. And then it comes back down and slices through yesterday's high again. And so how many times did we game this? We gamed it once. We gamed it twice. We gamed it three times. We gamed it four times. Then it comes back down again. This, in fact, let me just get all of this off of here and let me just do one big rectangle. Where did this yesterday's high provide any support or any resistance? No, what it really did was just provide a level for the markets to game you out of your money. So te traditional technical analysis, my friends, throw it out the window. Doesn't work anymore. Once everybody knows something, it's exactly when it stops working. So that is one of the most powerful things you need to understand. You got to stay up to date with the markets if you're studying traditional technical analysis from the old classic books. Sorry, they're just out of date. Now with algos, quants, dark pools, um, all these different things, high frequency trading, it's a different world. The thing you need to do is to learn the cycles in the market, the timing of the market. Now, there is support resistance levels that do work. And you combine support resistance with cycles. So cycles are about the timing of the market. And that's actually cycles are the time down here. They are your X axis. And then we combine that with support resistance levels, which are actually your price levels. But here's the key. We need to find support resistance levels that most people are not trading. And we can go into that in another video if you'd like, but our time is up for this video. So comment down below what questions you have on this, where you'd like, I'd be happy to do a part two on this. And if you want me to show you more about what support resistance levels are not commonly known and which ones actually do work today, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, if you have any questions about this with yesterday's high and low, be happy to do that. Um, I'm going to do a little series on this. And uh, very, just want to be very responsive to whatever you want. So put those comments down below. Oh, and if you want to learn more about cycles, I can't do that in a five or 10 minute video, but I used to do a live webinar where I gave away my cycle indicator, which by the way, for full transparency is a common indicator I modify. Um, and I've recorded that now. So you can go check out that recorded webinar and I show you how to set up the indicator on your charts and how to trade it. And that is at indicatorwebinar.com. It's recorded so you can access it 24-7, whatever time's convenient for you.